Good morning, another really nice day and I'm out on the Willoway Dock. Let's take a walk through and look at some great looking plants. So first up we're looking at our holly and uh, you know the guys have done a fantastic job. Here we're looking at our five gallon royal family. Look at that beautiful plant. Nice consistent pull. These are our seven gallon winter jumps. Look at that beautiful big plant. Landscape ready. Well we've seen these last week and uh, this is Pierre's Mountain Fire. We also have the Katsura. These uh, Pierre's really show up with that nice red foliage coming on throughout the summer. Awesome plants. So right off the bat here we're looking at some fragrant returns. We got some awesome daylilies going out on the dock. Nice bud and bloom plants, good value. So here we're looking at Euphorbia. This is the new uh, upright Sambucus laced up. And wow, look at these three gallon. This is Cranberry Creek Boxy. Well here we're looking at our uh, three gallon. This is Green Velvet Boxwood. You can see a nice consistent pull, good value. Well here we're looking at our one gallon Strictus. These are two gallon Artisan Spirea. Really nice bud and bloom. Um, our one gallon, this is Miscanthus grass. Here we're looking at some Blackhawks. This is the new uh, Thuja. This one's called Tater Top. Nice, tight, compact plant. Beautiful. I had to pull one of these off. Look at the beautiful size on these three gallon nest spruce. You know, we got a new crop of uh, Mr. Bowling Ball here, and you can see these are really nice, full plants. Good, consistent crop. Summer color here, we're looking at our wine and roses in three gallons. And then here is our three gallon endless summer. Nice big heavy plants. You know, we trimmed them back. They're starting to break out uh, from that trim with a lot of new growth and buds. Endless summer, three gallons. Here we're looking at our ferns. Here we have wood fern, Japanese painted. Great collection of echinaceas here, all bud and bloom. Be sure to get with our sales team. We have some nice looking perennials here. See more of the roses, but uh, no shortage on roses here with the knockouts or drifts. I just wanted to show you this is a stilby. This one is Visions Purple. We have Visions Pink. A lot of nice stilby there, bud and bloom. But here we're looking at a fresh crop of seven gallon Miss Kim Lilac. More great color here. We have our uh, three gallon. These are Blue Star Junipers. Liriope Silvery Sunproof. Very nice gallons. In the background there, we're looking at our three gallon. Grass, that is Cheyenne Sky from Proven Winter. Nice consistent pull on these three gallon winter jobs. Good value. So this is a great value here. It's a three gallon tax extensiformis. This would be good for landscaping and or retail. Wow, those three gallon bobos are really showing some nice color. A lot of our paniculatas are going to start to bloom real soon here. And as I was showing you on the uh, red mill pierce, here is that uh, Katsura and that uh, real deep burgundy new growth. Well, if you need something a little bigger, check out these seven gallon green mountains. Big, heavy, seven gallon uh, hydrangea alice. These are oak leaf. And, um, you know, they're going to have some flower coming on here that will take us in the summer. And then the outstanding uh, bark will take you through the winter. But look at this big plant. And then we're coming over here. Here we have our 19 centimeter. These are Carl Forrester grass. Very popular, really nice full plants. Another great landscape plant is our Ilex Galeva Green Magic. You know, in the background there, we see a hydrangea that is called Cherry Explosion. And then in front here, we're looking at a spirea. This is a, a, a really hot one from Proven Winners. This is Glow Glow. Another taxes to look at here, we have our five gallon ward eyes. And again, very nice full plants. Then we're looking at uh, our three gallon. This is Ramus Fine Line. What a value on these. Two more nice color plants. You know, we have uh, our three gallon. These are Royal Burgundy Barberry. And then uh, the Wajilla here is My Monet Sunset. Nice, big, heavy, full plants. The Taxus to look at here is our five gallon Taxus Hicksai. And uh, again, you see a lot of Taxus on the dock here. They're great looking plants, good value. And then here we have our three gallon Mop Cypress, another great color plant. Good, consistent pull on these. Nice value. Well, just consistent color here. We're at uh, the My Monet Sunset. We have the Sonic Bloom Red. This is a really nice uh, improved Wajilla from Proven Winners. The rose here is awesome. This is Miracle on the Hudson. And uh, they're cut back. They're coming out loaded with buds right now. You can see they're just starting to open up. Good values on these guys. A lot of those 
big uh, three gallon endless summers again they're just coming out of the trim they're starting to throw that bud up there they're going to be great looking plants and then here we have our two gallon this is Euonymus Emerald Gaiety you know Euonymus is a plant that you can use all season long for color good value on these Emerald Gaiety two gallon so here we're looking at our two gallon these are double knockouts and you know again we're doing split trim so you're getting uh, plants that will give you a lot of color throughout the season here they're trimmed, they come out, they're just loaded with buds, starting to open up. You know, let me zoom in here, you can see these are going to have great shelf life for you, and they're going to bloom in your display in your customers' lots. We have a hot new Wajilla from the Bloom and Easy program, and uh, let's look at these. These are nice, lower stature plants. This is a hot new one. This one's called Wajilla Electric Love. Another plant that's going to be throughout the dock all summer long is our hydrangea trees. Here we're looking at our seven gallon limelight trees. They're nicely shaped, they've been trimmed, they're coming out with buds. I'm just going to come in here and show you. You can see the buds starting to come out on these. Perfect time to get them because they're going to bloom on the lot and in your customers yards. Then here we have our seven gallon. These are Syringa Bloomerang uh, Dark Purple and again those are going to start to set bud and bloom throughout the summer. Extraordinary value on these three gallon ostrich ferns. We have Autumn Brilliance Fern. The 19 centimeter ferns are very nice. Good value on them. These threes are just instant effect plants that will really pop in the landscape. Next to them we're looking at our Hydrangea. And this is Invincible Spirit too. Look at that gorgeous flower. Bud and bloom guys. We have Magnolias and some Weeping Cherries but a lot of trees coming in on the dock today. You know, our trees and containers give you a, a plant that you can use in your landscape all season long. And uh, what a value on these. Here we have our 25 gallon uh, pink snow showers, and these are beautiful plants. Here's a new plant, and this is Nepeta Neptune. And uh, you can see those are bud and bloom. They're just getting ready to put tags on the sedum. This is sedum Mr. Good Buds. Guys, we're getting things ready to go in a truck here, and I just wanted to show you these beautiful three gallon azalea cairns. And um, look at the size on that. So our next crop is ready to go, and these are gorgeous plants, guys. And then just kind of coming back up, we're looking at more of those roses. I mean, all of the knockouts right now are looking outstanding. Bud, bloom, as you can see, retail ready. Here we're looking at Physocarpus Summer Wine in three gallons. Exceptional value on these, nice size. You know, these give you a, a color as far as foliage and flower. Beautiful plant, so check out our selection of Physocarpus. This one is a very nice one. This one's summer one. Here we're looking at uh, a very nice paniculata hydrangea, and this one is Mystical Flame. And so it's going to come out in white panicles and then turn that really dark red. This is a hot one. Three gallon Mystical Flame. So here we have Ilex. Uh, this is a strong box, one of the newer um, proven winter plants. Beautiful, nice, heavy plant. I'm just going to kind of spin here. You can see the nice consistency of that pole. Cucur are looking phenomenal. We got a nice color selection. Ferns are looking great. We see Echinacea, Agapanthus. Be sure to check with our team. We got some great summer color. In the background, we're looking at our Japanese maples, our crops in. Uh, very nice Japanese maples. Seven gallon Tamayukiyamas are gorgeous. And again, here we're looking at that seven gallon uh, Hydrangea Corsifolia Alice. Starting to throw some flower there. And we're coming here. I just wanted to show you the color. Here's our seven gallon mop cypress. Beautiful big plants. Quite a few orders on these mystical flame uh, hydrangeas, so don't miss this one. Well, again, just color throughout this dock here. We're looking at our uh, knockout roses here again. Nice plants trimmed coming out of that trim, bud bloom. In the background, we're looking at drift roses. Here we have the Flox Candy Store series. Nice color there. Hostas are looking sensational. Huge selection of hostas. Variations of colors. That yellow is uh, Hydrangea Lemon Daddy. You know, and that's a great plant to lighten up the dark part of the garden. Seeing a lot of these Ramnus Fine Lines, and for good reason. What a value on these big three gallons. Here we're looking at a boxwood from Proven Winners, and this one is called Sprinter. You know, look at that nice tight shape, good consistency, bucks a sprinter. You just can't go wrong with these three gallon uh, burning bush, man. Look at the value on that one. You know, if you need something a little bigger, we have sevens and fifteens that are just awesome. Here we 
got limelight hydrangea, more of those burning bush. Give you an up close look at these three gallon limelights. What a value on these. And uh, you know, they've been trimmed back, coming out of the trim. Just perfect. So I'll zoom in here. See those buds coming in there? You're going to have some color in the week ahead. Nice time to get them. Three gallon limelights. More hydrangea here. We're looking at three gallon bobos. And uh, I'll just pan over here. I wanted to show you these three gallon. These are Thuja Fire Chief. Look at that exciting color, guys. Here's a very popular Wajilla from Proven Winners. This is filled wine. Nice, full, heavy plants. Good consistency, you can see here. Nice. Then I'm going to spin up. You think we got roses? Look at all these knockouts. Again, everyone's stocking back up, getting ready for the summer, and we have some beautiful plants. All right, let's just start here. We have the candy store flocks. You can see bud and bloom. The stilbies coming on. Again, lots of nice stilbies. Pastas are huge. Nice selection there. In the background, you can see the echinaceas. Agapanthus is still looking great. Hasn't opened. Sedums. To pull one of these off, this is another arborensis from Proven Winners. This is a little shorter stature, but it's going to give you that beautiful red flower. Here we have uh, mini mauvette. And, um, you know, this is a gorgeous plant. Look at the buds on this one, too. I think you can see the value in these. These are uh, Francais Hosta. Big, beautiful plants. Here they're getting these things ready, but uh, we're looking at Stokesia. This is blue, blue frills, excuse me. And, uh, you know, big, heavy plants, budded. Here we have our 19 centimeter Hamlins. And look at this lavender. Again, starting to throw some flower up. Big, beautiful plants. This is lavender phenomenal. Here you can see the color. This one is another great arborensis from Proven Winners. This is Invincible Ruby. Uh, a little bit darker, richer red than some of the other ones, but again, very nice plants, adaptable to most areas. Great summer color. These hydrangea trees are all over the place. Here we're looking at our seven gallon limelights again, and you can just see those buds starting to pop. This is gonna be an awesome display. Another nice summer color plant. This is Potentola. This one happens to be Goldfinger. And uh, these are two gallon guys. What a value on these. You can see a lot of those potentillas on the dock here. And uh, you know, this one is an old favorite. This is Hemercala Stella Dior in a, a 19 centimeter. Again, we have a lot of daylilies starting to pop up, show some color. This is a beauty, Stella Dior. More potentilla. Here we have some nice uh, magic carpet spirea, little princess. Again, great plants, good values there. The color that we're looking at here is paniculata vanilla, uh, I'm sorry, strawberry sundae. Uh, this is the dwarf plant from first editions. Look at those buds. I mean, we were looking at buds last week. They're starting to open. Get them in now. You ever see them tagging these seven gallon Albertas? Man, those are landscape ready. Yeah, and don't discount the Euonymus. Here we're looking at moon shadow. Nice big heavy two gallons, more daylilies. Look at the bud and bloom, guys. Very popular plant. We're looking at Wajilla. These are wine and roses. Nice fresh crop. Here's another look at those Wajilla in the uh, Bloom and Easy program. Nice short statured plant. It's going to have some beautiful summer color. And uh, so the actual name of this is Date Night Electric Love. So wow, that name in itself should sell that plant. Another closer look at that new uh, Thuja from Proven Winners. Again, this is a dwarf globe. Tight, compact habit. These are two gallons. This one is tater tot. Well, here we got another look at, uh, let's see, we got hostas, we have daylilies, and look at the nice color here. This display just knocked you out. Here we have uh, caramel, citronelle, and Georgia peach, but we got a great assortment of fuchsia. Another really nice spirea, and uh, this one is spirea tor. Very hardy one, and uh, you know the fall color on this one has tinges of purple. Beautiful big three gallon plant, Spirea Tor. So again, our boxwood are looking sensational. We have three gallon velvet. We're coming in here, the guy shaped up our three gallon green mountains. Nice consistency to them, good value. Well, sometimes you just have to have that instant effect plant. Look at these seven gallon Texas Hicks. Here's another one. If you don't want to wait for it, we have these beautiful 15 gallon. These are Green Mountain Boxwood. Nicely shaped, good consistent crop. So here we're looking at another block of the Cucra. Again, Carmel is a popular one. Then we're going to spin over here. 
There we're looking at our grass. This one happens to be Carl Forrester again. Here we're looking at our seven gallon Ramnus fine line. And again, if you're looking for an instant effect plant, this is it. Just wanted to show you, this is a flat of Euonymus coloratus. And I think the sun's playing a little game on me, but you can see how nice and full our flatted ground cover is. We also have some gallons, 19 centimeters. that are nice and full. Hosta, look at the size of that hosta, guys. Roses are blooming, looking good. Nice values here, good summer color. We're looking at that salvia Neptune and another popular plant. This is uh, Plumbago. And uh, you know, they're just starting to set flower. They got this gorgeous blue flower, but these are nice, big, heavy plants. Soon they're going to be covered in these flowers. That's a hot summer color, too, is that deep, rich blue uh, as far as the garden. So check these out. These are Plumbago, 19 centimeter. You can see these monsters. Here we have our 15-gallon burning bush. Man, if that isn't landscape ready. Well, that's our walk through the dock today. I think we've seen a lot of great opportunities for you. There's a lot of perennials. We have summer blooming plants. We have awesome landscape ready shrubs and trees. Be sure to get with our sales team. Jeez, I hope we're loading these trucks for you.